ah, this problem does not look fun. Um, what we want to do is evaluate the first five terms. And you can see we have multiple placements for n. Uh, one thing I like, though, at least it's negative 1 as my base that I'm raising it to a power. So that's always going to just determine if it's going to be positive or negative. But then I have n down below. So we want to find the first five terms. So what they're asking us is determine a sub 1. So just like you can see n is represent the equation, if I have a sub 1, I am now going to replace my n's with negative 1. So I have negative 1 times 1 plus 1 all over 1 plus 1 squared. Do you see how I put the 1's in for the n? Now I can just simplify. So that's negative 1 squared over 2 squared. Well, any negative number raised to an even power is now going to become positive, And 2 squared is equal to 4. So now let's go to 2. So I have negative 1, 2 plus 1. Now I'll plug it in the 2 in for the n over 2 plus 1 squared. Well, that equals negative 1 raised to the third over 3 squared. Well, any negative number raised to an odd power is now going to become negative. And 3 squared is going to be 9. A to the third is going to be negative 1 to the 3 plus 1 divided by 2, oops, sorry, divided by 3 plus 1 squared. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Again, that's an even power, so it's going to be a positive 1. And 3 plus 1 is going to be 4 squared. So that becomes a positive 1 16th. A to the 4. Um, let's go and see if we can start doing these kind of in our head a little bit uh, instead of writing all those out. So a to the 4. So kind of following this um, formula, I go positive, negative, positive. So therefore, I know the next term is going to be a negative 1 over. Um, that's right over here. Negative 1 over, if I plug a 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 squared is 25. And then let's figure out what a sub 5 would be. So a sub 5 is now I'm going to plug in an odd number, make that even. So that's going to be now equal to a positive 1 over 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 squared is 36. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find your first five terms. Thanks.